UN Mace Police, the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, and the Directorate of Criminal Investigation Department, CID, organized a specialized training from March to October 2013 for a select 39 police personnel at the CID headquarters, Juba, where 23 trainees graduated after passing the course. Apart from creating fingerprint experts, the training established South Sudanese first functional fingerprint bureau. The trainees were nominated by the CID General Headquarters and the central equatorial state headquarters. Uh, whatever the resources we have, uh, we use that and I found that the students uh, or the trainees are very excellent. They are very keen to learn and you, can, you, you saw in the demonstration, they did a very excellent job, very neat and clean job and they are working that. The entire training, which was both theory and practical, was designed to cover details like fingerprint signs, crime scene orientation and legal provisions. The trainees were assessed periodically through examinations and assessments. Based on the result of the examinations, 23 trainees qualified for the specialized training on fingerprint signs. It is really a thankful uh, message to them that you people, you have done a lot, uh, especially our, uh, our uh, trainers, Manoj, he has endeavored really to have uh, made us who we are, to have understood how the fingerprint came about, and now what is the fingerprint and how it is useful to eliminate the innocent from the, the suspected person, from the real criminal. During the training, a fingerprint manual was crafted. Pursuant to that, the CID director formed a national board of fingerprint expert examination comprising police officers, forensic specialists from Dr. John Garang Memorial University and UN police advisors. The board and facilitators conducted a final examination consisting of written, practical, project and interview skills. The most important thing always is securing the crime scene. And that crime scene is where evidence that can be admissible in court. If you are a good, if you are a good expert, taking the fingerprint in a good way, a good manner, without corrupting it, then that can be admissible in the court. But if you interfere with it and corrupt it, then you have lost everything. And this is why many cases in courts actually see are dismissed by the, by, by the judges. After undergoing extensive training and thorough examination process, 23 trainees were certified as fingerprint experts. We are with you in developing your capability of crime scene investigation, investigation in financial frauds, white collar crime and terrorist investigation. This is the first step. Let us move ahead and let us have a plan for developing all forms of investigation in the next two to three years from now. This is a milestone for South Sudan National Police Service in the area of forensics as they establish the National Fingerprint Bureau and Fingerprint Laboratory with the graduation of the first batch of the fingerprint experts.